This video will help you learn how to set up and use your Alex Math Notebook. This is what you'll be receiving, a package of Alex Notebook pages. You'll see it contains a title page and a table of contents, as well as many, many examples. Examples actually for all topics for the entire course. First thing you're going to want to do is put this in a notebook or in a binder. Put this notebook in a binder. You really want to make sure you have at least a three inch binder as well as some tabs, several tabs. Ten would be ideal, one for each learning period. You might also need some additional lined paper. You can always add that later. Put the tabs in the back and then place your notebook on the rings and you're ready to go. The way we use it is starting at our Alex Pi. When you're at your Alex Pi, you know you have lots of options of different topics to choose. You can pick any topic. Let's start with one example. Let's try the Pythagorean theorem. So when we click on that topic, we immediately want to go to our Alex notebook, turn to the table of contents, and we want to find that topic in the table of contents. Here we see that Pythagorean theorem is on page 138. So we'll want to turn to our page 138 and remove that page. Be sure to read closely all examples, all information on this page to help you learn how to do these types of problems. Also make note of any links that are pointed out. You should click on those in Alex. When you start mastering a topic, always click Explain first so that you can add additional notes in your math notebook. Make sure you put those notes in the My Notes section of your math notebook. When you begin working through the problems, make sure to show all work in the math notebook, the My, My Notes section. Work through your problem, show the complete work, get your answer, plug it into Alex, and you'll see this is a correct answer. Do any additional work on the back side or on an extra paper as you'll see later. As you master the next problem, show all the work as always. Completing your problem, you can plug the answer in. Clicking next, you'll see this is another correct answer. If you need additional sheets to show your work, Add your own paper behind your topic sheet. Place all of your topic sheets and additional worksheets in order in the section that corresponds to the learning period. Be sure to annotate your table of contents with the learning period in which you mastered that topic. You'll need to refer to that later. Repeat that process for every single topic that you master. When you're finished, you'll have a complete set of topics mastered in each learning period delineated by the tab. You can use that to review for the quiz or on the quiz or the assessment at the end of each learning period.